Goeie naand en baie welkom by a game van Can I Eat That? Nou hoe hierdie game werk is, sê vir ons in die comment section of jy dink, jy kan die volgende goed eet of nie. Ok, is jylle recht vir die game? Kom ons kyk wat jy sê en die eerste jene is... Chalk! Dink jy, jy kan chalk eet? Um, well, ek het al iemand gegooi met chalk, kom ons kyk wat sy antwoord. Ja! But we don't recommend it. Ja, ek sou ook nie dit aanbeveel het nie. Ok, kom ons gaan naar die volgende een toe. En die volgende een is... Misseltouw. Nou, misseltouw is blijkbaar iets wat onder jy soen in Amerika. Of iets is dit. So, kan jy dit eet? Ja of nie, he? En die antwoord is... Nee, mens kan nie. Ok, kom ons gaan vir die volgende een ekie. En die volgende een ekie sê dat kan jy... Treebark eet. Nou, vir die van julle wat nie weet nie, dit is boombas of boombas. Kan mens boombas eet? Ek het nog hoor, is goed vir jou vel, maar kom ons kyk. En die antwoord is, ja, mens kan. Hai, miskien is hy tanni, doe nie vir my gejok nie. Ok, kom ons gaan vir die volgende enekie. En die volgende enekie sê, Dandelions. The cat is smaller than the lion. <laughs> kan jy dit eet? Ja of nie? Ja. En die antwoord is, ja, but we don't recommend it. Ja, ek sou dit ook nie voorgestel het nie. <laughs> ok, kom ons gaan vir die volgende een. En die volgende een, jy sê, leder, leer, gaan jy jou skools kunne eet? Kom ons kyk, of jy dit kan eet? En die antwoord is, nee, ja, ek sou dit ook nie aanbeveel het nie. Ek kan nie denk, dat hy lekker sou afgaan, as jy toilet doen moes verkeer nie. Ok, kom ons gaan vir die volgende een. En die volgende een, ek sê, a venomous snake. Ek dink nie, daai is so'n goeie idee nie. Venom, ja, kom ons kyk. En, nee, ja, nee, ek sal dit glad nie, glad nie, glad nie, glad nie aanbeveel dat jy so'n iets draai nie. Ok, kom ons gaan na, na die laaste een, ek toe. En die laaste een, ek is, Starburst Rappers. Nee, van die wil ek nie wat nie weet nie, dit is soos een toffie sweet papierkie. Dan kan jy een sweet papierkie eet? Um, ek het al. Ja, jy kan, ek wou sê. Ek is nog nie dood nie. But, yet again, we don't recommend it. Ok. Cool man. Baie dankie, dat jy hierdie game saam met my gespeel het. Hey guys. Ek hoop het gaan goed. Want doen het vir ons dat alse kant af. Weislig. En weeslig. Hallo en baie welkom by Eens van Elt vanavond. En uh, vanavond het ek een speciale gast genooi. En uh, toen I'm going to do my absolute best to speak some English. So if I, if I mess up, you can laugh at me, I give you permission. So vanavond het ek vir Philip terug genooi. En uh, Philip het so rekje terug het hy by ons kom preek, het hy by ons woordskap kom deel. En net om te sien die reaksie op wat hy gedeel het, het ek gedink dit is een goeie idee om terug te nooi. So vanavond gaan ek hom een paar vraag vraag. En dan gaan ons kyk wat sê. So Philip, welkom back. Die van julle wat nie van Philip ken nie. Philip is een baie goeie vriend van my. Ek en hy het ontmoet toe ek nog een jeugwerker was. Hy was een jeugwerker. So Philip, before we start, just tell us something about yourself. Three things that will summarize Philip. Um, thank you, Carl. I appreciate it. And um, hello, it's Sarah. Uh, thank you for the invite once again, Carly. Uh, I appreciate it, my friend. And um, yeah, Philip is, is a person who who actually met the Lord, I can say, and I'm grateful for the Lord, for that, actually. And um, Philip is the person who's passionate, actually, in telling people what God did for him and living it out in the world so that people would see it. And um, not hiding some things behind or some stuff in a closet and all that when people don't see. So um, Philip is a person that loves his family. I love, um, I love my family a lot, guys, and Kali, and yeah. Really, it's, it's, it's the people that I feel God has brought into my life and then I just need to journey with them. So, um, I'm a passionate person in terms of telling people about the Lord and especially the young people. Because um, I grew up in a very hectic or let me say um, difficult background in a sense. But I thank God for his hand that he actually took me out of it or I can say he journeyed with me through it in a sense. And I thank God. And um, I love 
reminding people that you are here on earth for a reason. Yeah. And the third one that um, I will say Philip is, is that, you know, Philip is the person that wants to interact, hear what people are going through and all that. And if God can use me, let him use me. Awesome. That's really awesome, actually, because uh, when I think of Philip, I think of someone that I can always talk to. Ek weet soos ek kan altyd my harde deel met Philip, ek ondou het ons ook hier werkers was en ons het saam gerei en ons hier het ek altyd soos Philip, just please drive with me to this place man, I need to talk to someone and Philip was always there to encourage and uh, could encourage me and pray for me so uh, Philip, thank you for that so the first question I want to ask you tonight is you, you shared with us who you are but share just a bit with us about your story you said you, you love the Lord and we can see that through your life and, you didn't even with Elia, but just tell us a bit of your story about where you meet Jesus. Okay, um, first can I say, it was before I um, um, in a Christian family, um, good, 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 good. and I thank God for that, because it was his mission, or let me say it was his purpose for Philip. Uh, my parents, uh, you know, uh, we black people, we, we actually have lot of background that things were happening like in terms of my my uh, granny was Sangoma and then Sangoma is someone that you know they use they use actually um, you know Muti and all yeah. those things African things so but I thank God that when um, I actually when I was a kid my dad decided to accept the Lord and then it happened that my mom also followed him and I thank God for that and hence my mom actually was born in a in the Sangoma family and then my dad also you know that we're not like devoted to the Lord and then they ha it happened that they accepted the Lord then it, it actually came down to us that um, Philip when they told me that Philip in this house you know when I was uh, brought up that Philip in this house we worship the Lord yeah. and we trust God so actually where I met the Lord it was in, in my house let me say that in my family my mom and dad but it was after they made a turnaround you know turn around from the the culture of things, the things of the world, and then they came to the Lord. So then um, I thank God for that. And it happened that my mom was so strict that guys, Jesus Christ. That was on Sunday. So that was on Sunday. So I say, my mom had actually a great job. And she fulfilled her purpose and um, actually pursued me that Philip, you cannot leave God. He is your everything. Awesome. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, that's really, that's a full Yes. So I spread the word. Amen. So what did you do during, what did you do during lockdown to keep yourself busy? All right. Um, I can say during the lockdown, you know, firstly, I was a bit like uh, stressed in a sense, like, Philip, what, what am I going to do? And uh, it happened that, you know, as you just trust in the Lord, putting it that way, guys, because the Lord is our source of leader, and you cannot go a day without consulting with Him and hearing what He's about to say to your life. Uh, what, what, I, what I did is that, um, I was always in and in the connection with God that God helped me, you know, because church was closed, guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm a person that loves church. Yeah. Church was closed, and then school was closed. Yeah. Where I would say I would speak to the children. Um, now I can say ministering time was over. Yeah. So then I had to come to a place of actually evaluating myself, Philip. Who are you? And why are you on earth? And what are the important things that actually you left behind through the walk of life or the business of life that God is taking you back? So actually, I was um, seeking more of the purpose that God brought Philip for on earth. And I can say, God helped me, you know, through my uh, Bible study. Actually, um, I, I, I slept a bit. And in this lockdown, God helped me and said, Philip, you need to go back to the world. You need to actually, because now you are out of the busy world. So come back to, you know, to, uh, to the relationship with me. Yeah. And then, yeah, what, what I did is that I was every time in the presence of the Lord, asking him to help me. I'm not a perfect person. You know, I do mistakes and all that, but I was asking God every time that God, hey, help me. And then, yeah, through studying also, because I'm doing my course, you know, yeah. so yeah, studying. Yeah, I can say that. 
Okay. So, um, ek denk ook in die lockdown, en ek het al so'n bykie van het gedeel van het bashing met die mobilities, ja, en uh, soos in die lockdown het ek ook probeer om rarig myself rond te vroeg, okay, you know, hard questions that you don't always ask yourself, yeah. like, where is my relationship with God standing now? Oh yes. En um, ek denk, per ty keer is het nodig om jyself moeilike vroeg te vroeg, en ek het ook in die lockdown tekst wat Philip sê, en die begin was het lekker. Yeah. Those first two weeks it was like vacation, you know? yeah, yeah. sleeping in, Straight, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with a lack of time. And to don't know to begin it's a bit boring rock, and to don't know to begin it's a bit stressed. But you have a skill, you don't know what you can do, you have a skill, you can't so much like freeze-achtig rock, and you can bang rock, yeah. and you can't. Yeah. And to me, I was also going to ask you, from a serious gelegenheid, as a lockdown is an opportunity, you know, what can I use this opportunity for, but you have a skill that you do for good, what for time for time to We have more time yes, to do yes. Bible study, more time to focus on God, more yeah. time to pray, Come on. and even more time just to talk to people like our parents or yes. our friends or whoever. Yeah. And um, so I think it's very important that you have a question, and I know that the school is now beginning, or not beginning, or I don't know exactly. You have a question, but you have now your time. Yes, you have school work do. Maar jy het nou hierdie geleentheid, so wat is een moeilike vraag, gaan jy jouself vraag. And uh, so the next question I want to ask you is, what are the things you think we need to focus on more as Christians? Oh yes, oh yes. Um, one thing that we neglected, and it's something that I was also going to share just after this, uh, thank you Carl for, for it, because we, we, um, we ended up, losing our family, you know, that's quality time with our family. Yeah. I believe that is something that happened through the business of life. And then, you know, so in this time, I, I just I just heard God also, um, you know, hammering on it that, you know, I, I gave you your family for a purpose. Yeah. There was a reason for it. And I believe that these are one of the things or the qualities that we need to actually go back and check ourselves whether we did we did it right or not. And we need to spend time with, with our with our parents, our sisters, ask them how are they doing and all that. And it's something that also God took me took me to, you know. Uh, told me that Philip, you need to tell the parents that you love them. The same as um, uh, during the Mother's Day, uh, I went to my mom and I just told her that, hey, mom, I love you, you know? It's such words. And then it actually in, in energized her to, to that point where she said, thank you, son. And I, I, I can say most of us, we forget, we forgot that, you know? We forget that these people, God has given them for us, you know, to ask for a reason. So, yeah, this is, is one of the important things that I feel that um, God is calling everyone to spend quality time with the people that he actually selected to spend time with. Yeah. And one of the great things, or the last thing that, that I also feel that God also um, is hammering on today, is that we need to check ourselves. Are we still in line with God? Yeah. 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 Cool, man. Yeah. So uh, the next question I want to ask you, so what most people don't know, these people don't know, yeah. is that you are busy studying teaching now. You want to be a teacher. Yeah, man. So why do you want to do that? Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, Carl. I, I believe it's, it's an appointed time for Philip because I never planned. I never planned for it. Um, in my mind, actually, I wanted to, first, I wanted to do engineering. Yeah. It happened that uh, Jensen came along. And then now um, I went out of the mining industry, came to Gen Z. And then now it happened that okay, I was focusing on uh, Gen Z, like God, why are you taking me through being a youth worker with Carl and them? And God was instantly said, actually, he instantly just turned things around. Like, Philip, now I'm placing this opportunity for you to actually uh, become a teacher. Um, so for me, becoming a teacher, the reason behind it is to actually equip myself. How? Because most of, most of the people, sometimes they will say, no, I will just go and study pastoral or maybe being a pastor and that's it. But I felt that God is taking me through a journey of equipping me, you know, in my mind and in my speech and in the way I speak to people. Because I'm not, I'm not yet equipped, I'm not well equipped and God just took me there. And I thank God because another reason that led me to take this uh, opportunity is that I don't have money to pay my fees. Yeah. So God said, I'm presenting it to you. Yeah. Philip, you need to take it because I didn't have the money to go to Unisa, guys. I mean, so when God said, Philip, this, here's an opportunity, I said, God, thank you. Yeah. I'm going to take it. So, yeah, actually, for me, uh, the fees to be paid for, and another thing to actually just interact, you know, with the youth that are, that, that are coming from broken homes. Yeah. And I believe it's a platform that yeah. God has placed for me. Yeah, yeah. awesome. 
And while we're on this point, I just want to do a shout out to all teachers and all yes. headmasters and all every, everyone that works at a school. Oh, yes. But I think that in your time, is an advisor amper belangriker as a pastoor, ja. amper belangriker as a geestelike werker. Yes. En hoekom ek so sê is, weet, ons kan hier by die kerk en ons doen wat ons doen, alles vir die heren, en, uh, maar ons moet wacht vir mense te kom. Yes. As mense nie kom nie, kan ons nie ons werk doen nie, maar onderwijsers en hier, Philip, you're there in school, yes. and all of a sudden you're in an environment of broken people, ja. of real people, yes. people that don't know Jesus, people oh, that don't know church, come on. and all of a sudden yeah. you see things that we don't always see. Oh, yes. So shout out to all teachers, all of our school work, and as jy hier vrou is, baie dankie vir wat jy doen, en weet nie, ons bid vir jou. So Philip, on the last, the last question I want to ask you, yeah. is if you had, and those of you don't know this guy, this guy can preach, oh, he come can on. preach. <laughs> So, if you had two minutes, and you have two minutes now, okay. to encourage everyone watching, oh, yes. what would you say? Oh, yes. Um, what I would tell, you know, everyone is that, guys, you are so special. And um, so special to the extent that you don't realize it every day, because you think you're the same as um, the people that you're working with. You think that um, life is just uh, life, because uh, we are living this life. But let me tell you, uh, is that God had appointed you for such a time as this. And I believe that even if you don't understand, things are working, are actually sometimes um, happening in a sense that we don't understand and we don't want them to happen that way. But let me tell you, God has a place for you in his kingdom so that you will try to, you know, just, just to manifest everything that he has called you for. One thing that I can always remind people is that, guys, God has called you. You know, for a purpose and for a greater plan. Sometimes you don't even see it because you are still saying, God, am I going to get there and all that. But let me tell you, you're too special. God has appointed you. God has called you. And um, one thing that I don't want people to forget is that, guys, the same, the same Holy Spirit that uh, Christ Jesus, you know, um, was walking, um, actually worth, um, uh, you know, helping the world through is in us. And I believe that, guys, we need to go back to our place and say, hey, God, I need you to just remind me who, who I am in this earth. Because I believe, guys, Jesus Christ has loved us. And to the extent that we, we, we don't even understand. But let us forget about everything, you know. Just go before God and soak in. Soaking in is just going there and say, God, come and shake me. You know, come and restore me. Come and just, you know, um, come and be my everything. I just believe that God wants to be our everything. We must just leave everything behind and say, God, be my everything. And I'm, I'm tired to just figure out things because at this moment, we're trying to figure out things God way. But come to God and just say, Jesus, I want, I, want, I, want, I want you to just help me. And I believe God, that's where God wants us to say, I'm done. I'm tired. I can't do it. But Christ Jesus, what are you saying about my life? And that's the perfect place where you can be. To surrender. To oh, yes. Surrender. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Surrender. Amen. So Philip, thank you for being here. Yeah. So before we close off, I just want to ask Philip to pray for us. But before he does that, um, after this, we're going to sing a worship song and we're just going to worship the Lord for a bit. And I really want to encourage you while we're worshiping. Believe in it, but you don't want to be for not for your ears. You have to hear what you say, you have to talk with you. And as you have to hear what you say, you have to hear what you say. As you have to hear what you say, you as jy onder 12 is, as jy boog 50 is, en jy kijk jy nie vanaf. Oh, yes, ja. En die worship sal met ons gaan sing. Beleef nie die grootheid van jy, en beleef nie dat die heren wil vanaf iets in jou leven kom doen. Oh, yes, come on. Tonight, I believe that God wants to shift something in your life. Yeah, great. So, surrender tonight, yes. and allow God to do what he needs to do. Yes, so, Philip, will you just pray for us, and then we're going to sing together. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, let's pray together. Uh, Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you for this time, God, that we can just come in this place and acknowledge you as King, as the Lord and Savior, you know, as the as a Father. You are a good Father. God, even sometimes when we uh, we slip on the way, and God, we tend to you know to lose the temper and we lose even the the, the rhythm on the way. God, you always call us back and say, Hey, I am uh, you know the shepherd, 
and yes. come back to the floor, come back in. I want to I wanna journey with you. I want to help you. And God, I thank you that you are calling us back today that whatever, you know, we've, we've been struggling with, God, it's time to just lay down. And God, I thank you, you know, for this moment, this time of uh, lockdown. God, I believe that you were knocking at people's hearts. And God, you were building your kingdom, you know, back in their lives and bringing them back to the throne. And God, I thank you for this time. And also thank you for Carl, God, who, who is their leader and uh, in this inside out, God. You know, you've placed uh, him with a great group of leaders. I believe that. And God, I believe every person that's listening, God, you love them. And you have a great purpose for their lives. And God, let them just know and, and believe at all times that, hey, I am chosen by God and I belong to the King. And thank you, Jesus Christ. Praise it's 
As jy nog nie ons nietste nieuwsuitsending gekyk het nie, gaan kyk dit op Facebook, YouTube of Instagram.